You would be walking and people would say, are you like Fijian, PNG? And then when I say I'm African Cook Island, they're like, hey, what are you? So sometimes you have to like speak to someone for a while just to give them a feel of who you are. I think, yeah, every day being Afropoly is quite hard. But it's also fun as well because you get to like mash up the two and have a good time with it. So my mum's cookie, Cook Island, she's from Pukapuka, and my dad's from Ghana, from a small village in Kumasi. So even though I don't see my dad like every day, but he plays such a huge part in my life. Hey dad! It's 3 a.m. dear. Oh my god. How's grandma? Yes, Kumasi. Grandma is now uh... 91, oh my god. My mum and my dad are not together anymore, but I'm being brought up with my mum. I'm gonna put that on my Instagram story. But both of them, they have such strong values, like with dad, God's massive thing. But with my mum, it's just being empowered to just be strong. Like, I think the fearlessness and the resilience comes from my mum's side. It's the same way you cut it. No, no, Tina. Look, I cut it really thorough. She's really good at cooking and making donuts. Tina, did you get the coconut cream? No, I didn't. She's very strong around family roots, but also um, the values of just being you and not apologizing to people for being yourself. Usually mom cooks and I just um, wait for the food. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I say I'm African Cook Island, just to, because I don't think people are used to saying Afropoly, but that's a word that I've been using lately, and even on my hashtags like Afropolynesian, um, just to let people know that there's an Afropoly community. Ah, uh, mum left. <laughs> she got sick and tired of me. <laughs> Welcome back to Air 2, Rise Above, PM and Cooks, serving up real, raw, relatable stories within our community. I do a radio show on 531PI and it's called Air 2, Rise Above. It's all about bringing together the voice for the voiceless. Um, it's allowing a platform for people who don't have the resource or platform to share their stories. I'm not going to go and work for anyone else. I'm going to start my own business. So. That's what's beautiful. Like that's, that's what makes me happy. The runner up is Miss Cook Island. One of the reasons why I've actually joined pageantry and modeling and stuff is just to put a, a different face, a unique face to what society looks like. And that's always been the goal, is to be like, there are different types of girls, different types of unique features that are out here in society. And it's not just long hair, flower on the side. Girls, like, that's just slowly opening up, to, to be completely honest. Musically, I feel like the Polynesian and Africans, they connect straight away. With dancing as well, dance is another massive thing. Like, because when I do my Cook Island dancing at an African event, they're like, how do you swing your hips that fast? So we're gonna just speed it up just a tad. Now we're gonna be using our core, our arms, our back, our thighs, our glutes, and our legs as well. All of it came to me because it was just a fun, effective way of exercising. Why all of it? Because I wanna merge my two cultures and making sure that people can have access to a free exercising session um, just to come out, chill, and also have a good time. I'm around my Polynesian side all day, every day, but I'm not with my African side. I'm still in that road to being connected to my African side. I feel like I have to go, because um, my grandmother, I haven't met her before, and I'm named after her. I'm gonna kiss the ground, eh? That's how much I actually want to go to Ghana. I feel like I've given so much to my Cook Island side, but you know, it's time to give more love to my African side, to my Ghanaian side, and it's just getting off the plane and dancing while I get off will probably be like the best feeling. 
ever. I love it. I think the beautiful thing about being multicultural in New Zealand is that you get to share that with people. So it's kind of like that opening to community, to society today to say like, this generation is quite different because it's not just one race anymore. It's like, you got Afros out here that are eating taro.